Okay, we're going to show you how to properly install your JLT Series 3 on any 2005 to 2010 Mustang GT. Uh, this particular customer is going to get a color matched torch red. We also have them in the textured black. And we're going to go ahead and get started pulling the stock airbox off. Alright, this is pretty simple. Basically, you're going to loosen up this clamp right here. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt right here. Unplug your mass air meter. Pull this red tab out. Squeeze the clip. That comes off. There's also a PCV line that's going to go from this fitting to the valve cover. This one's already been removed. There's two little tangs on here, two little green plastic clips. Pull those clips and remove it right from the valve cover. Okay, you need to remove your mass air sensor from the stock air box. It's held in with two T20 Torx screws. You're going to take that sensor out and you're going to install it in the JLT tube with the Phillips head screws supplied. Okay, now we're going to install the heat shield into the car. This lower radiator hose needs to just be pushed over. Slide it down. This mounting bracket goes in between the fan shroud and the radiator. Okay. All right, heat shield's in position. You're going to tighten up this bolt right here. And we've also got the bolt down in here. Air box is mounted in between the radiator and the fan shroud. And tighten this bolt right here. All right, we've got the heat shield mounted. We've got the coupler on the throttle body. I've got the clamp on the throttle body tight. Clamp on the tube side is loose. We're going to take the JLT tube, put it through the heat shield, set it into the coupler. I'm just going to snug this a little so we've got some movement. Take the air filter, put it down in, slide it onto the tube. I like to take the clamp and position it so it's on the outside and the engine side here just for a cleaner look. Alright, everything is setting in there loose. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make our adjustments. Everything's sitting fine. We've got a rubber end on the filter that's just in here right above or just touching the apron. Push this in tight to the throttle body. Put your clamps on the ends, on the side of the oval. Don't put them up top. Put them on the sides. Tighten your throttle body one, now tighten the one on the tube. Now you don't have to go crazy on this. This is a, a plastic tube, it's not metal, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm just going finger tight on that. The clamp's not pulling through, you cannot get it off. Same with the filter, you go ahead, just finger tight on the clamp. That will not come off. Go ahead, plug in your mass air. Clip, push in the right. Now we got to install the PCV hose. Fitting on the bottom of the tube. Go ahead and push that on fully. Some of these hoses are going to be a little long depending upon application. So go ahead and trim it for a clean fit. I'm going to go ahead and mark that right there. Just take a simple pair of cutters. Cut that hose. On. Done. Now here's your fully installed JLT Series 3. This is a 2005 to 2009 version. 2010s are going to be basically exactly the same. Your heat shield is slightly different. Everything else is the same as far as instructions go. And you're done. Make sure you've got the tune loaded in your car and enjoy it.